Look who we found. Tyler. 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 We just had lunch. We're gonna take him back to his place and or we're gonna make him take us back to his place and we're gonna do a little he said, she said. We're gonna show him the latest, the last episode, which you haven't seen. Yes, no, I'm excited. And then we're gonna chat, ask him your question. Let's go. <laughs> Hello. Hello, how are you? I'm good, how are you? <laughs> Glad to have you guys back. Tyler's wearing his glasses today, which sometimes your glasses didn't make the appearance. Did they ever make the appearance? They did, but not when I was doing, not when we were doing like the interviews because oh, okay. you could just see the cameras. Right. Reflected. He's like a mixed owlologist himself with his spectacles. Thank you. We asked people online to, to send in questions. Yeah, so I and posted on Instagram. Boop. Look, it's a picture of me and Tyler from the very first day. We were touring the house and I, I said, ask us questions and you guys did. We have many comments, so I'm so excited to get to these. It was such a like awesome experience. I hope, well, did you think it was a good experience? Yeah, it was, like, it was a whirlwind, but it was great. I feel like now I feel like so settled. It feels longer ago than really it was. We finished his house right before the, the winter holidays. So you got to like break it in with yeah, had a, Christmas, a party. Christmas party, which Joey and I came yes. to. Now you you nice. actually haven't seen the final episode, right? No. So oh, yeah. that's something. It's the bedroom, it's the last room. Yeah, we'll show you it. You want to show them before we get into questions? Yeah, let's show them. Bad? Yeah. What? Yeah. Ew, it's no. not the basher pad, it's the gentleman's Lair's so abode. creepy though. And it's, it's anything but creepy. It's a little creepy. <laughs> this house is creepy. Uh -oh. This is not eight by ten. I feel like this one is the one that we yeah, talked about for, for the, the guest, guest room, room right? Yeah, I thought I did it right. Tyler. I mean, meanwhile, the bed's already. <laughs> beside my bed and kind of winked at me when I asked what it was for. Um, or cue the memory montage. Sahara to For you, you just said it was the bedroom. Draw Wilma asked, if you could sleep in any room except the bedroom, which one would you sleep in? The living room, easily, because I or I, I, can't. <laughs> I, mean, I think that couch is just kind of like very welcome. You know, I, I woke it up there in the middle of a Netflix binge. Oh, nice. Already, so we all know a Netflix binge. What are yes. you binging on Netflix? Um. Yeah, all over the place. I've been watching Bates Motel recently, which is oh, actually really, really that. good. How yeah. have your um, friends besides us yes, of reacted to the house? Everybody loves it. I mean, everybody feels really at home here, and I have, 
you know, tons of friends just drop in and just kind of hang out and they'll just hang out in the It's the crash pad? It's kind of, yeah, it's the hang pad. It's good. G K knees or G knees. Probably that one. <laughs> said, how's the mix allergist doing and what is your favorite drink while hosting at home? The mix allergist is doing very well. I, I think we should position. also talk about the, his friend. The addition, yes. Mm -hmm. I, a friend of mine started doing these things she calls wild animals. These very lifelike busts of, you know, endangered species. So I got a walrus. I got amazing stuff like chinchillas and a rhinoceros and all of these cool endangered species. And a part of the proceeds from every purchase goes to helping that animal. Guys, that's so Wait, cool. Check, check it out. out. Is it just wildanimals.com? I think so, probably. So it's like animal, like super animal friendly. She's a VFX makeup person, so she kind of became obsessed with making these real, oh my realistic gosh. molds. Perfect. You guys, this, is, this is the coolest thing ever. I think it's perfect that she is a special effects makeup artist, you're a screenwriter, so it's just, it really is a Hollywood it home. Hollywood there you home. go. But yeah, the mixologist is doing very well, and lately, yeah. And having some Aperol spritzes, you know. <laughs> Prosecco and a little splash of Aperol on ice. Very yeah. refreshing. Check That's out the blog post. We'll put Tyler's Aperol spritz yes. recipe. Yes. Dude, Zolly on Instagram yeah. asked, what is the room that you think describes you the most? Ooh, that's a good question. That is a good question. Good question. Either the lounge or the office. Because mm. I think both of those have a lot of character. I think the office, because it's got all of that, you know, some of those older influences and some of the, the antique look to it, but it's kind of a mashup, which I really like. Those two rooms have like that sense of humor too that you wanted. Like yeah, with, playful with the animals, the whimsy. I'm always sucked in by the lounge. The lounge yeah. I mean, I'm like a, a petite person and I just just love the size of that room. It's like little, it's like a cocoon it of is. just a glamorous cocoon. Yeah, I love how much original art you have going on in this place. Yeah, yeah like very impressed by great that grandpa. Looping behind great you. Great grandpa, hey there. Amor Torres on Instagram asked, are you single, smiley, winky face? No, I am not single anymore. I've started <gasps> seeing somebody recently, so that's good. Yeah. <laughs> Breaking news! Maybe we'll have a picture of this mystery girl on the blog. You guys have to click through to mrkate.com so you Tyler's shacking up with in his beautiful <laughs> bedroom. So this is someone um, on Instagram, the sun, the beach. Hi Tyler, I was just wondering how you developed your style and inspiration for the home itself. And I think that our conversations were hugely informative in that, but I think a lot of it originally or initially was just looking at the house and thinking, you know, it was built in the 20s, classic one story Spanish house in LA. Did you do any sort of research on your own? A little bit. I mean, yeah, I mean, there's not a ton specific to this neighborhood that you can necessarily figure out, but I mean, I think a lot of like when we were doing Pinterest stuff right. back and forth, it was tagging a lot of old movie posters and old Hollywood stuff and even, even like fashion things, but just kind of getting a sense of that. Find out what the architectural style is of your house or apartment or wherever you're living and do some research because I think the most successful interior designs are ones that honor at least somewhat the, the style. Oh, this is from Valentina Blogger. The top five favorite items from your house? I'd say the studio light. Probably nice. this light too, the chandelier. So epic. Kind of makes the whole house. I think the table in the lounge is really like a great grounding Ooh. Uh -huh. piece. With know, that like crank? Great, great crank table. The whiteboard, because we kind of accentuated, like having that whiteboard for so long and then being able to like turn that into something that's not like a light on the eyes. Because so many people use whiteboards and they don't have to be ugly. And then the last one, I'll say that um, that big rusty organizer that we Ooh. found at the, uh, at the flea market. We legit shopped the flea market. We got that for an amazing price, amazing. too. It was like 50 bucks. His house is a great example of mixing expensive items, inexpensive items, you know, saving money in certain places, but spending money in the right places. Mm -hmm. Go to the flea market late in the day. You can get amazing deals because so many of the vendors don't want to take the stuff home with them. They're just like, give me your best offer. Half the lid. Kath Kath. The name is Kath. Yeah. She said it in her Instagram name. Okay, cool. How do you feel about the fact that your house is on YouTube and everyone can see the beautiful makeover? I mean, I think honestly it was very odd at first. You know, it was dis it was like it was something that was very new to me and to have this going on in my space. Obviously, when you guys are just here in the crew, it's a small group, so you don't feel like there's anything public about it. The time in the first video posted, it was very strange to me in a way because it was like thousands of people watching 
you know, the space yeah. that I live in. You had a moment where you were sitting here and you were thinking like, was this a mistake? I wouldn't say I thought it was a mistake. <laughs> I think I was a little intimidated by it, but then I got more comfortable with it as it went on. Have you had anyone recognize you or anything? I had one time oddly at the, I was at the Burbank airport. <laughs> oh. And I was at the, I was at the coffee place there and the girl's like, I know your face. And I was like, <laughs> okay. <laughs> it's like, hey, you're on that YouTube thing, right? Mr. Kate. I'm like, yeah, that's really weird. And how did that feel? Was that weird? It was weird, definitely weird. But, but it made you feel I, good? Yeah, it made me feel good. Okay, good. Cat G on Instagram said, did you change or add something to your house already or did you leave it the way Kate and Joey styled it? I did add one thing in the office. I got a old filing cabinet from the 50s that somebody gave me. I just saw it when we came over here. It goes really well with the desk. Yeah, it's, like the same it's the same metal color. I know it's cool, it's kind of random, but it, it used to belong to this photographer, Phil Stern, who like, if you look him up, he's taken some of the most amazing photos from like James Dean and Marlon Brando and oh, Marilyn Monroe. Cool. And they were cleaning out this space in East Hollywood and my friend, um, I was just kind of helping her because she had been using it as an office space and they, and they were just leaving that. They were gonna junk it, so I just took it. You know the sweater one with James Dean? And the, yes, uh, he took that iconic. Photo and that's his oh, wow. You got some old, vintage photos and he cut them and they fit perfectly into the filing cabinets uh, little slots that's cool. and it's yeah, so cool. cool I mean such like a fun little easy inexpensive detail sadly I think the only thing that hasn't survived is our pop oh, <laughs> oh no <laughs> did they die or just like no no they're in the kitchen they're oh, just, this, this guy yeah. swapped out it's yeah that's fine he puts a mix of what is it, a potpourri? Okay, potpourri yeah. Oh, I want to close with the one thing that you told me, which I thought was really interesting. How was it watching yourself? You told me that you had like a different perception of yourself. I mean, there's just such like a, a lightness and a sunniness to the show that is great. That is not a way that I necessarily <laughs> see myself on a day-to-day -day basis. Being in this in this reality that was kind of constructed, it was kind of odd to see to see myself in that light, but it was good. I think that is, you know, that's what's funny. Is I think that is yeah. you know, camera. Sure. I mean, that's how we both know you. Right. No, sure. I, mean, I think everybody's got like some miss, you know, some yeah. different version of themselves that they yeah, see. Yeah, I think, I think it's actually a very accurate portrayal. This is Elodie asks, would you ever let Kate give you a style makeover, not that you need one? <laughs> <laughs> I'd probably be at peace with that. Yeah, I could probably, I, I could probably handle that. Oh, like that's that. so sweet. I don't think that Tyler needs one. I yeah. love your style. The style is very him. It well, is. I was saying, I was gonna like, when, I, when he walked in with that shirt too, I was like, I, yeah, I feel like, I would, like it's not that dissimilar. You maybe wear, you're a little bit more loud in your style. Actually, the colors that you always wear go with your house, which I feel like shows how sort of true to his essence we were with this design. Well, I mean, you're literally day. matching <laughs> the painting yeah. that's behind me right now. That's a good point. Okay, unintentional, but it worked out. <laughs> what I love about Tyler is he's a very open person and it's been just so much fun doing this with him. Maybe we'll bring him on on some of the other spaces we do as like a uh, Ooh, consultant to the homeowner to say like, I know this is weird yeah. guys, but, yeah. <laughs> Tyler, it's been awesome dude. Thanks, sir. Thank yeah, you for... dude. Yeah, dude. Give it here. Yeah. <laughs> so that's what he said. And that's, and that's what, what she, she said. said. Oh. <laughs> don't, 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 don't. Ah! Bye. Bye.